Good evening, everyone. It's Clifford Andrews here broadcasting from Norwich over the internet. <laughs> and with me next to me, I have one of our team members who you may have seen in the videos um, or on the website. Zahra is right next to me. Say hi. Hello, everyone. <laughs> and she's going to be helping me with the technical side here. And a couple of miles away across Norwich, we have Dinah John. Hi, everybody. <laughs> she's actually in her own home today, the miracle of the internet. So let's just start the introductions. Let's just see what's happening. Well, first of all, here's a picture of Dinah. <laughs> oh, looking rather more suntan than I am now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's a picture of me. And we're going to be your host this evening. We're going to explain um, about our new online courses that we're launching this evening and the design of the course and how we decided on the topics and things like that and hope we've, we've got a couple of exercises for you and we hope you'll find it find it interesting well first of all even though this is such an exciting day for us <laughs> and it's a new era we actually go back a long way with the online shiatsu world because we hosted the world's first online shiatsu seminar and that was in 2001 with Pauline Sasaki and that for those young people in the audience, that was before Facebook, that was before YouTube, that was before streamed video. That was when having a text forum was like the height of technology. And we had the entire platform built for us. We had it built by a developer and it cost an absolute fortune to do. And we had the whole thing and it was just the most amazing event. And by the way, the whole text is available in the online resources section of newenergywork.com and it's a fantastic read even now it's really stood the test of time 15 years on I recommend that if you've got a quiet evening you just read through it. it's absolutely fascinating um, and we actually started our online courses in 2007 so that was on another platform that was a much more formal platform and uh, had lots of limitations compared to the one we're using now but we started way back which is going to be 10 years um, next year so We've been doing it for a very, very <laughs> long time. <clears throat> and also the interesting thing is that when we've got feedback on our online courses, the feedback that we've got has always matched or exceeded the feedback that we've had on our face-to-face -face courses. And we've worked really hard to make the whole thing a, a, positive, a positive experience. Okay, so before we go into the what's in the course, what's actually in the course, let's just have a look at some of the things that are new that we couldn't do before on the old platform. Well, we've spent a whole year, haven't we? <laughs> we've spent a year. We had to learn loads of new skills. We produced all our own high quality videos that Nicole has um, edited, she spent hours editing them. Um, we've also got a new feature, which is presentations, which I love, which are like a kind of uh, lecture with slides so that I've been able to give a background um, to all of the subjects. Um, we've produced another load, load of uh, high quality audio. We've also made them much longer. We used to run five week courses and we've now made them seven weeks with a bonus eighth week. So they're almost twice as long as the ones we ran before. The other massive thing for us is they work beautifully on phones and tablets. So literally wherever you are, you can just go in, you can watch a video, you can access the whole course, which especially now people are moving away from computers and you know you just want to have everything right where you are. So we're really excited about that. And the other thing that we're doing is rather than having it as a set five week course, we're now giving you lifetime access um, at the end of the course. So you'll get if you do sign up, you'll get a new um, module every week for eight weeks. And then you've got complete freedom to um, go back and look at it at any time, revise it whenever. And it also means that when we upgrade anything, if we upgrade any of the resources, then you get that free because you're already part of the course you have lifetime access so these are all really exciting new things that we think will make the whole thing so much more accessible okay so do you want to have a look inside this is what it looks like inside this is module one <clears throat> which is about contraction and expansion I've got an exercise for you in a bit to um, to practice that um, this is what it looks like inside there's a presentation which is my favorite thing which is actually me talking you through the whole um, the whole module before it was just a text thing but now I kind of walk you through it show you what's going to happen and what we like you to do and what you can do on it um, we've still got the uh, 
we've got so we've got the overall um, overview presentation we've still got it in text for you so you can read it read it if you like but it's like a it's like a kind of a paste video for you um, so is it video or is it audio um, what well, the presentation the presentation, the presentation. It's a really cool kind of combination. So what it is, is you see a slide. It's a bit like having a slideshow, a bit like this webinar, really. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And each Got slide, it. the great thing about it that I really love about it is each slide has uh, an audio audio connected to it, which you click on and you hear okay. me talking. And then you can go backwards okay. and forwards in the presentation and hear it again if you didn't quite get it the first time. Um, it's great. A great. It's an absolutely great thing. Yeah, it's really good fun. Um, and the, we've... What we've done with the main content now is we've put it into a video tutorial. So you'll see me and Zahra, me and Nicole, or sometimes all three of us, and with Dinah as well, basically in a small tut tutorial setting. And that's the sort of core of each module. We also, th also thought you might like to just flick to one screen, one scene, sorry, because there's several scenes in each video. So we've done all the timings for you so you can just quickly whip to a particular scene that you're interested in. I've also recorded some What's brand. the average length? What's they, the average they length of they're, they're time for a video 15, tutorial? 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Some of the scenes are about three or four minutes each. And they're, they're like yeah. titles as they go through. Yeah, so they're, they're, about, they're about that long. There's quite a lot really in, in each video. So you probably want to revisit them and see, you know, go over the scenes again. Um, and one of the things, this is your idea, Dinah, which I thought was a great one, is when we do internal exercises, I've actually produced audio um, that you can play, that you can just plug into your phone or your MP3 player, and you can actually just listen to me talking you through the exercises very slowly, so that you can feel them, um, just like yeah. we would do in class. So that's that's yeah, really cool. great. And look, this is this is another one of Dinah's ideas, which I really enjoy doing. And that I what I put here, what I've got here, is an opportunity to share with you some of the history and why these different techniques evolved. Um, and I've got some pictures of Pauline in there and, and I've got some stories of, you know, when we work together and things. Um, so that provides a really nice bit of background to the more practical elements. OK, and yeah, then why these techniques got developed, exactly, because they yes. were, there was there was a need for them. People were getting frustrated with or Pauline initially was um, on a mission, really, wasn't she, to bring the rarefied, sensitized key work into the physical body work. She was. So exactly, there was. A, yeah. 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 That's right. So it's like like, like what's behind the development is really an interesting um, insight into the value of it, if you see what I mean. I think so, yeah, and I think it, you know, it helps. Yeah. It helps you know, you know, realise why. If you know a bit about the history, it, it, it makes you understand why. It gives you the understanding of why these things developed. Um, yeah. And then there's a discussion zone, similar to we had on the other courses, of course, where we all kind of share our experiences and make it into a more of a community kind of thing. Um, and then at the end, just to finish it off, we have a fun quiz for you to test your knowledge, <laughs> based on the uh, all of the different. Um, resources that you would have that you would have explored in each module and each of the modules will have something like this so you can see this really is quite a lot of things for you to to keep you busy in the um in the course so what we did is we picked seven uh topics that we thought would be a foundation what we're looking here is we're looking for a foundation to transition from just regular treatments into just taking your work more into the energetic realm and getting a deeper understanding of the energetic um, body and how you can contact it when you're working. So the first thing we chose was contraction and expansion and the whole of that module is available as part of the free trial which I'll talk about later on. Um, Kyo and Jitsu, always a central experience in Shiatsu, we go deeply into that, into the whole theory and practice of Kyo and Jitsu. And then if anyone's interested in whole body scanning, anyone wants to review that or hasn't experienced it, we go into quite a lot of detail here on different scanning techniques that help to link between Kyojitsu and accessing the energetic field. And then bring it down more into the body, we uh, do some work on accessing the channels and how we can expand our awareness of the channels. I've got an exercise for you coming up very soon for that. A whole module on the subos, that was a fun one, I remember doing that, that was really good, yeah. Different ways of understanding the subos, how to connect with them, how we can use them and how we can expand our awareness of the subos. And then finally, probably the most advanced topic in the whole thing is the topic of resonance, which is how to connect up 
the vibrational information you get from the scanning, from the HARA diagnosis, how you can connect it up with um, your actual into your actual treatment. And in that note, we also put another week, we couldn't stop ourselves, we put another bonus week at the end, which features 45 minute video. Actually, it was in the end, Dinah, that treatment What's I it? gave on you. Got... Yes, 45 minutes, so it's okay. basically a full session. And you can see how I apply all of these techniques into an actual treatment and Dinah gives quite a lot of feedback it's a bit like a tutorial feedback really all the way through so yeah it was, it was a lot of fun making it and it took a lot longer than we thought I thought we'd do it in three months <laughs> it took us one yeah. year to get to this point yeah. to launch it it was a, it was so much work right okay I wonder if we ought to do an exercise check in with our yeah let's yes, do an exercise exactly. yeah let's just I'm just going to go oh yeah there it is yeah let's do that exercise okay which is exploring contraction and expansion by working on our own stomach and spleen channel okay so I thought we'd do it practically so what I'd like you to do is just kick your chair back slightly we're doing the same thing here are you doing the same thing Dinah? I am I am I'm <laughs> yeah. turning my round yeah okay so I'm leaning back I'm going back on my chair I'm sitting up right and what we're going to do is we're going to contrast working our own spleen meridian using contraction and expansion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the main components of contraction and expansion. And see if you can feel a difference in the way that you contact your own spleen meridian. Okay, so first of all, let's just lean forwards with a nice bit of body weight and just, net, just place your elbows right just on the spleen channel. Okay, right. So now let's see what happens when we apply some contraction into the technique. Now we can do that in an energetic way, a visual way, and using gross physical contraction. And let's just see if we can feel a difference in those different aspects of contraction and expansion and see whether it changes our experience of our own spleen meridian. Okay. Well, let's start off with the most energetic of those different techniques. We're going to look first of all, I want you to just look down. Imagine you can look through your arm, through into your elbow and focus your gaze through your elbow into one spot. So you're narrowing your vision down. Okay, and now I want you to just with your mind Bring your attention just to that one spot that your elbow is uh, contacting on the spleen channel. Okay, so that's using the vision and using the mindset to focus in. Okay, and now let's introduce some gross physical contraction. So we're going to just tighten up the shoulders, tighten up your shoulders, maybe tighten your wrists, tighten your hips and then press in, just press in with your elbow and now just start walking up and down the spleen channel in your upper leg, focusing on Ouch. your elbow. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> a little bit too con much contraction there, Diana, just ease up I on the physical. I think was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just get a feeling for that. Okay, what will probably happen is you'll feel a very specific pressure there's nothing really wrong with it but it's very much more physical and it's just a particular feeling of lo local you know local stimulation there okay right so let's just sit up and shake out just shake out your arms okay and now we're going to we're going to approach it in a completely different way we're going to first of all we're going to go into our alignment and we're going to use the alignment to contact the the channel okay so First of all, just sitting, get in touch with your spine by thinking internally into your spine. Now bring your focus to the front of your spine and try and get the feeling of the spine being central to your whole body, not just at the back, but central. Have you got that? Okay. Now we're going to float the head up, so you release the base of the cranium, allow the head to float up. Relax the sacrum. 
and the hips and then work down through the shoulders elbows wrists and hands okay and then opening up the knees ankles and feet okay so now we're just going to relax and open the shoulders and the rib cage. So just imagine the rib cage relaxing away from the spine. And then relaxing and opening and widening the hips. That's great. Okay. Right. So now let's try using the mindset first of all. So I'd like you first of all to just visualize in your mind the whole of the spleen channel right from the um, feet all the way up through your legs and up right into your head. So open that up with your mindset. Okay, and now we're going to look down, look down at your legs, and this time we're going to open the peripheral vision. So instead of looking at one spot, we're going to keep the vision relaxed and open it. So that you can imagine, you can look around behind you, and you can definitely see the whole of your, your legs up into your torso. Okay, right, great. So now we're ready to start contacting with the body so keeping the spinal alignment active we float the head up pivot from the hips keeping the sacrum relaxed okay and now make contact with the elbows just lightly at first just contact lightly at first okay right now keeping your center in the alignment make contact with your elbows and now as you bring the weight in, rather than pressing in at one point, we're going to relax, expand the awareness out, use the vision, use the mindset, and imagine that you're connecting the channel all the way down into the feet, and all the way up the front of the body. Okay, now let's put it into movement. So as you move your elbow, your elbows, you kind of walk them forwards. Each time that you enter contact with the meridian, you release the spine and you get that feeling of expansion back again. There we are. So you're renewing the expansion every time that you press. Okay, just check out to see whether you get any sensations in your feet or in your torso as a result of that more expanded awareness of the channel. Okay, good. How was that? Feel a difference? Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Dinah? How did you lovely, get on? Lovely, lovely. Yeah. yeah, great. I could feel my big toes. Yes, I got the same thing. thing. Yeah, I got the same thing. Yeah, yeah you can feel it right the way Have through. Have I that no. before? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Okay. So yeah. what we'd like you to do now is if you've got any comments, you can just put them in the questions or the chat um, uh, tab. You'll see the question tab. You can just bring that down. Just type it, anything in and we'll We'll, we'll read some of them out, any of your experiences out as we go through the webinar. I'm just going to switch back now here to this is the topic of module one. And as I said before, we're going to do a, we've got a presentation on the history of it, we've got the video tutorial with Nicole and some audio. And look, here's a typical screenshot of Nicole and I working together. Notice I'm lying down. That's my favorite teaching technique. <laughs> <laughs> Any <laughs> any excuse and you'll see me lying down. It's all very it's all very educational, you see, you know. But yeah, no, we you'll yeah. see that they're based basically as a as a um, as a tutorial format, which which we found works really well. Okay, so these exercises we've done. Okay, so look, here's Kyo and Jitsu. There's look, I'm sure I'm trying to explain Jitsu and Kyo there with my hands. <laughs> we had a lot of fun with that I'm module. Sitting up, I'm sitting up. I actually got me to sit up and do something. <laughs> um, we go through the history of Kyo Jitsu. Again, a video tutorial. And this is a very interesting one because we <laughs> actually Hello. leave the video on a question, dun, 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 mm -hmm. which is the Kyojitsu paradox. And the mission, your mission in this module is to see if you can solve the Kyojitsu paradox, which is, I'll let you into, uh, I'll let you into the question. Why is it that the meridian that feels the most empty, the lowest one, indicated by this hand, 
why is it that that meridian isn't always the meridian that reacts to the jitsu? You'd expect that the most empty meridian would be the one that would that would the one that would sedate or create a change in the jitsu, but that doesn't always happen, and there are several very important energetic reasons why that doesn't happen. And those and investigating the Kyojutsu paradox takes you deeper into an understanding of the energetic field. So that's a really, really exciting module. That was really good fun doing that. So once we've accessed, once we've got into that whole energetic interaction thing with Kyojutsu, the next thing is to have some techniques to access the field. And here we are. Look, here's Zahara. There you are, Zahara. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And there's Nicole. Nicole gets the lying down job there, you see. Yeah. And um, what we do is we get we take you through several um, uh, scanning techniques. Um, there'll be some audio for you to help you with that as well. And uh, there's a video tutorial with Zahara and some audio resources. Yeah. So that's if you're interested in sharpening up your body scanning, that's the module you'll enjoy. OK. Hara, look, there's Zahara again. Look, she's lying down this time. <laughs> Yeah, that was a really Star good fun, wasn't it? Screen. Yeah, that's right. And this was the horror diagnosis one. We really take the whole thing apart. Uh, again, you can see it's a very sort of informal tutorial session. It was great, wasn't it, Zahara? It was brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Because it was all you were asking questions and, you know, it was, yeah. it was very dynamic, wasn't it? Yeah. So there she is. And we basically take you right through the whole, the whole, the whole thing, right from the basic techniques into the most advanced energetic interpretations of the horror. A lot of fun you see expanding into the field so we link the higher diagnosis with your um, exp um, your awareness of the energetic field okay then we go back down to the channels to, for some more direct practical work which is some practical techniques here this is me working I think that's Nicole there um, yep Nicole and what we do is we look at the difference and the interactions between the channels and the meridians Okay, all right, and we've got another exercise for you. Hooray, on that subject, <laughs> the subject of the channels and the meridians. <clears throat> and th in this exercise, we're going to get you to feel the lung channel. Oh, I just had a drink of water there. Ah. <clears throat> yeah, no we drink. Go. I just need a drink of water. Um, yeah. yeah, we're going to um, give you an experience of the channel and the lung meridians. Any questions? Right. Yeah, if you've got any questions about anything, anything we've done, then just um, type them into the questions um, box, and Zahra will feed them to Diana and I. Okay. So look, this one we get this one, this exercise. I'm going to get you to stand up. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can feel the difference between the channel and the meridian function in the field, and it's a similar kind of thing in a way to the contraction and expansion. So first of all, just get into the position. I'm just doing this now. Get into the position of the lung meridian uh, makahu stretch, or more accurately, the expression. So you lift your arms up, standing upright. Lift your arms up. Point your thumb towards the uh, ceiling with your arms outstretched, and stretch your thumb up and back. And what you'll feel is you'll feel a line, or you should feel a line from your thumb all the way into lung one down the arm. Okay, so you've got your arms up in a yawn position, stretching it slightly back and up, extending your thumb. Okay, and you'll get a really clear. Have you got that, Dinah? Have you got that? Yeah, I'm yawning. I'm trying to <laughs> not to yawn too loudly. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, like you can feel it, can't you? Okay. Feel that right. channel. Yes, if you just rotate your thumb back you really open it out yeah Lovely that's if you just feeling. twist it back slightly okay so you'll feel yeah. just that that's just the the stretching of the channel okay so now if you bring your arms down and relax them just shake them out let's see if we can get extend that stretch and feel the whole function of the meridian in the field okay so standing shoulder width apart we're going to go back into our alignment again <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to go into the line, we're going to relax, and let's just become aware of our breath. So, breathing in, 
and we're breathing out. Okay, now feel the breath coming in, extending all around your lungs, and the chi from the breath spreading out all through your body. Okay, so as you breathe out, send that chi round right down to your hands and to your feet. Okay. Become aware of the skin around your body. That's the interaction between the, the air and your physical body, just like the lungs are the interface between the air you breathe in and your physical body. So just become, of your, become aware of your borders, the border between your body and the air around you. Okay. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to enhance that function and we're going to go into the same yawning position. So breathing in, open up lung one, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, bring your arms up higher. You're yawning, Diana, I can hear you. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm yawning in every cell now. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so this is the difference. We're going to breathe in. You're going to feel that chi from the air going to every cell of your body through the oxygenation of the blood. Okay, now you can still feel the channel, but that channel becomes part of a bigger expression and a bigger feeling of resonance in your whole body. And this is the great thing about the meridian expressions. You kinesthetically or body aware, you, your body awareness becomes connected to the function of the meridian. Sound a bit as if you're on life support, Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you've got a pen and paper nearby, which you might have, you've got a pen and paper. We've got ours here. You can just run and get a piece of paper. Just what I'd like you to do is just draw two pictures. One of what it felt like to experience the lung meridian, the lung channel, sorry, just the channel into the thumbs. Okay, and the second drawing, you can draw a picture of what it was like to experience the lung function or the lung meridian function in the whole of your energy field. And you can, that will help you rem remember the feeling. Now the reason that exercise is so important is because as we go more into the energetics of the meridian, we start to get the experience of the meridians resonating through the whole body and through the whole field more as a resonant feeling rather than as a, a located physical located channel and that's one of the bridges that takes take us from the physical body into the energetic body and the connection between them so that's a really useful exercise we'd love to hear your experience of it as well so if you Get a chance, if you can, just type in to the question field and let us know how you're getting on. Oh. You can also use the chat, chat option, can't you? Yes, and the chat option, yes. I don't know if anyone's posted it in the chat yet. No, okay. Let's just have a quick look and just see. Oh, Panayota said Greek. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have enough. I didn't have enough. Um, uh, fields for all the language. Sorry, that's going back a bit. Ah. Um. <laughs> hey, Palaiota. Hello to you. A Slovak. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. If you've got an interesting language, first language choice, please email me at admin at New Energy Work and let me know. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Here we are. We've got some interesting ones here. Yep, yeah, okay, great. A, a V-shape versus an oval, that's uh, Lucio says that's his experience. Antigone, hi Antigone, hi to you. Yay. 
um, to go on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's about the exercise is about the channel construction and the field is more expanded. Exactly. Yeah. So the lung function resonating in every cell is a more expanded experience of the actual channel. The channel is basically um, a connective tissue, an embryological connective tissue connection with the organ. And it's where we connect with the function locally. But as we get more into the energetics, we'll find that we can access the meridian vibration anywhere in the body. OK, so what have we got here? Oh, there's loads. Oh, I can't see them. I'm frustrated. <laughs> oh, you can't see them, yeah. Oh, Dominic yeah, says, yeah. when do we when do we get to lie down? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the attendees actually. I can only see the staff. Yeah. So okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. There's loads more, yeah, okay. Brilliant. Oh, Tina Tina's from Portland says hi. And Zora's on. Hi, Tina. As well. yeah. Oh, Zora. yeah. Oh, lots of old familiar faces. How lovely. <laughs> I didn't forget about the Greeks, by the way. I just didn't have enough uh, fields. <laughs> OK, great. All right. OK, great. Alexandra. Alexandra had some very strong sensations all over her skin and through her energy field. Right. She really felt the difference. That's fantastic. Brilliant. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. OK, great. So, if you, yeah, cool. So if you yeah, if you. um. Oh, look, we have someone who wants Romanian as the first language. We really have got a multicultural audience here. <laughs> I just didn't, and Dutch, I just didn't have, I just didn't have enough fields. <laughs> right, okay, let's get back to the webinar. Any more of your experiences, please, um, please uh, let me know. Okay, so here we go, look. Here is um, the sixth module, which is week about, six. yeah, week six, which is, about the SUBOs, and we go into a lot of detail really about the structure of SUBOs, how to contact them, um, what the function of the SUBOs are, and how the SUBOs link to the field. So it's the same, it's the same kind of um, a theme that we've explored in both the exercises. Um, it's how, what does, it, what does it mean when we press a SUBO? What kind of things are we expecting? And we can expand that experience from a connection on the channel, which we did with the elbowing our spleen meridian exercise. Um, and we can expand it uh, into the two-handed technique. So we've got the mother hand along the channel. And then we can expand that awareness systematically until we can get some information from the energetic field. So we can start to feel the functions of the SUBOs. And that's, that's, I think that's one of the most exciting things for me. Don't you think so, Dinah, when you can actually feel the actual energetic actions of the SUBOs. Brilliant, really exciting. And yeah. um, I don't. Th we're not doing vibrational levels in this module, are we? No, that comes later. This is that's the one that's going to follow that's on. That's very good yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah, that's very good fun. That thing of um, finding different SUBOs depending on whether you're working more physical or more emotional level, whatever. Yeah, but, that's uh, it. Yeah, feeling that action um, is something that's brilliant for really bringing alive your relationship with the TCM material, you know, when you feel the damp resolving or the whatever it is, or the, uh, the net releasing. Shattling or something like that. Or... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, really exciting. Yeah, it's brilliant. Okay, and this is the final module, and this is the resonance model uh, uh, module, and that's uh, the, the theme of this module is to bring it all together, really. So what we have here is we have again Zahara and I working and I've been doing some scanning I can remember doing this actually we did this scan remember that yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah we're doing some body scanning and then what we did then is we basically um, took the body scan we did some questioning as well about aims and what what Zahara would like and then we did a Hara diagnosis checked the resonance of the Hara diagnosis to various different things you can see me drawing there <laughs> And, uh, and then we explored how the meridians linked with it, didn't we? I can remember that. That was really good, really good fun. So let's just see what I've got here. Yes, here we go. So it's connecting connecting the Hara with the field. So here's a, a body scan that I've done. And I've drawn it here so you can see it. And the whole 
purpose of resonance really is to take a higher diagnosis, find something in the field, uh, find something in the energetic field, in the body or in the wider field, connect to it, and then that's how it links with the channel work and the SUBO works work. Basically, it gives you a link between manifestations in the field or symptoms and the energetics of the meridian. So here we are exactly. It gives you an opportunity to energetically treat symptoms. So you're not working from a purely symptomatic approach, i.e. they have a shoulder problem, we're going to work gallbladder or whatever. It's more a question of finding out exactly what the meridian resonances, resonances are and which will enable you to predict um, which meridians are going to affect the different manifestations in the field, really. So that's the, that was what it's all about. Yeah, so you test it's for the exciting. resonance. It's great, isn't it? It's, it's a great technique. That stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it, it's empowering as well. And makes, and it, um, it adds a different dimension to just following a form or whatever. You know, that, of course, there are lots of different approaches to shiatsu, and we all find our own. But it, um, it uh, gives you a really vivid, living relationship with developing the work. And of course, sometimes we do fall back on on um, a simple framework and we're tired or whatever but there are times when you're when you just uh, want to expand your um, field of activity if you like yes and just working at that different level is so much more entertaining <laughs> and also <laughs> I think the thing is also it does give you confidence because once you've found a really strong resonance there's no way and yeah. you just have the confidence you know then that that yeah. meridian yeah. is definitely going to affect it it's like a test yeah. isn't it yeah. just know it's going to exactly. work um, and I think also that confidence is transmitted to the receiver as well, because the tr receiver knows at a deep level that you've touched something. It you've touched something yeah. very deep there, a deep connection, and and they they, they can feel it too, and they know that um, that something's going to happen basically. Um, yeah. And I, I think that's that for me. That's one of the most exciting things about energetic working like this, because you don't really want to be doing protocols and formulas do you it's so it's so linear and so boring that's after a I while mean, yeah. and also you and just so don't I mean, also the other thing is if it doesn't work if you have a protocol and it doesn't work you're really none the wiser are you yeah. you don't need to say oh well it doesn't exactly. work on him whereas exactly. using this technique you're always everything is always fresh it's always new and you're always treating that person well, as an individual always, uh, exactly and it, it, there's always um, an exploration there's always a uh, I feel like um, you know, you're exploring, you're trying out, you're experimenting, you're listening, you're interacting. It's a yes. whole. It's and of course, like I said, when you're tired, sometimes you might want to be, you might be glad to fall back on your, on your framework or your protocol. But yes. to have that whole other dimension of exploration and, as you say, confirmation on the energy, which gives you confidence. Yes, exactly. And that, yeah. brings, that brings a positive spiral because as you're more confident, you're more relaxed. As you're more relaxed, you're more expanded. As you're more expanded, you're more able to pick up information on different vibrational levels and from the wider energetic field. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And it also links so with the supers as well, doesn't it? It, looks, it links with the supers as well. <laughs> I mean, what I think it does, actually, my personal view on it is what it does is basically what we're doing is we're training ourselves to get into the same space that the people, that all those, um, you know, Qigong masters and Shiatsu masters and acupuncturists, they were in that space all over those thousands of years when they developed the system because that's what they could feel. They yeah. could feel the energy moving. Um, and that's, I'm sure that's, you know, how they did it, you know. And so what yeah. we do, we're doing is we're aligning ourselves with that sort of morphogenic field wise. And so that when we press those points and we can feel those actions and things like that we're basically aligning ourselves with the information with that with all of that knowledge and in, and everything yeah you know. in the bigger field yeah yeah, yeah. exactly we're yeah. resonating with all that and look oh, we couldn't stop it's... ourselves could we after seven oh. weeks if that wasn't enough we thought we'd and put it all hey, together Dominic, there's me getting to have a lie down <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we did. We put a whole demonstration together, and Dinah went through the questioning with me. I worked on points. You can see her telling me what's happening. <laughs> yeah, what's not oh happening? It's <laughs> like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I, it's so long ago. It's taken such a long time to develop this. It has, yeah. This new course. <laughs> that I actually can't can hardly remember it. 
And look how sophisticated sure we got by that stage. Look, with the camera work, you see? We had yeah, the ta cool. camera work team getting right in there. So you literally, you're, you're right right by all the action. So you can see what's happening. You can see me, you know, questioning uh, Diana. I do the horror diagnosis and I give her a full treatment. And I try and demonstrate all of the techniques of the course, um, you know, as we go along kind of thing. Yeah, that's right. Whoa. Okay. We're just galloping go. backwards We're Going now. backwards, yeah. I'm just reviewing here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, here we are. Okay. Yeah, we're going to set up, in fact, we've already set it up. We've got a new energy work uh, closed fake Facebook group for the social side of the course. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyone, you know, if you do book on, then we'll make you part of that and we can get to know each other through Facebook. Um, also, we're planning a residential. Woo! In 2018, we've got a venue in mind. Uh, it's going to be a UK-based residential. And obviously, if you're both, if you're already um, part of the course, we'll, we'll give you priority booking on that. Um, and also, from time to time, we're going to do some private webinars like this, but we're going to keep them just for the people who are enrolled on the course, just so that you've got a chance to ask us. Um, questions directly and uh, just to give you support I mean obviously there's support all the time through the forum and you can always email us and call us so we, we're, we're definitely around uh, we supporting. are jolly helpful we are very helpful <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so how long is it well it's going to take eight weeks minimum but after that you can take as long as you like so if you can't keep up with the eight weeks it doesn't matter you can take as long as you like it's self-paced and that's a big difference from the courses that we've run before um, we reckon that you need about three or four hours a week, something like that, to watch the videos, go through all the resources. But of course, you, a lot of it is practicing the techniques on your clients. So, I mean, that's kind of an unlimited thing, depending on how many clients you've got. Um, but something like that, something three as to four hours a week. As we say in England, as long as a piece of string. <laughs> as long as a piece of string, yeah. yeah. Uh, we credit the course with 30 notional hours. Um, which is notional hours means that you can always do much more than that, but we reckon that's the minimum that you'll have to do to get through all the material. Um, and you can take, which is equivalent to about two weekend workshops. If you're not sure, you can just go and check out free trial. You can you can get access to almost all of the first module, and I've given you access as well to some of the uh, video and one of the later modules. So you can have a look. So um, yeah, you can just do a free trial if you're not sure. That's and very if, generous of Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you're a little bit worried about never done anything like this before, you don't have to worry at all, because if you're not absolutely delighted, we will just give you a complete refund. Because the thing is, we only want people who are really into it to be on the course anyway. Um, Good. Yeah. OK. So Jessica wants to know, are we are they being run along on the, on the same lines as the previous courses, i.e. online discussions of treatments, posts, etc.? Yeah, okay. Well, what we've done is we we aren't going to run it the same as before because we're not having them really tight and we're not limiting it because before we had to limit it to only 10 people, um, really. Uh, and it was much more of a closed thing and it was very short, only five weeks and it was all over. Um, we are still going to have discussion. The discussion forums are there. Um, we, uh, you can post up all your experiences and we'll give you support just like before. Um, and basically, the programs are open, so we are looking. We are looking to have a much bigger student body. We want to create a bigger, much bigger community per course. Um, so it, it's and it, like I say, it's it's not run at a starting and ending like the like the ones used to be. It's all self-paced. So as you go through it, you'll get support as you need it as you go along. Okay. So it's, it's like an open. It's much more program. open. And the thing is, before. A lot of the focus of the course was the tutors basically feeding back to the students all the time. Um, and we didn't have that much resources, you see. That's what we've done. We've made it much more rich in terms of resources. So that's why we spent the last year producing all the videos and audios and everything. So, yeah, so it's a, it's a different kind of vibe, yeah. And Rose says, when does it start? Well, it starts whenever you... It starts actually launched now at the end of this webinar. You'll be able, I'll just explain in a minute how you can get onto it and have a look around because um, we've got nine minutes left. So, yeah, oh so God. it's a different kind of vibe. Time yeah, flies. I know time flies, especially when you're doing those exercises. <laughs> okay, well, how much does it cost? Well, we reckon it 
how much would it cost to get the material? We reckon that you'd need at least, I think I could just about teach it all in two weekends. I'd be pushing it, but I probably could just about teach it in two weekends. So that would cost about 500 or 600 euros if you took it in Europe. Plus your travel and accommodation probably cost you about a thousand euros by the time you've got there, stayed somewhere, and then you've got the lost income from the travel time. So, and if you took it as a workshop, you wouldn't get lifetime access to the material or the ongoing support or the free upgrades or the Facebook support group. So we're giving you quite a lot more support than you probably would get if you just did it as a workshop. Um, so what we've done is we priced the course up at 299 euros. Okay, you might not know, well, where can I find the course? Well, it couldn't be easier because all you need to do is go to newenergywork.com and on the home page, you'll see a big bluey green button right here that says to the online course and all you do is click on it and that's it and you will be you will find there it is even bigger so you can see it to the online course and you'll see um the the home page and it looks like this you'll you'll see this and you'll see a welcome page which has got videos on it explains the whole course um, it's like this is called a landing page where you find out all about the course you can click a free trial button if you want to have a look around, you can try everything out before you buy it. It's the equivalent. It's the equivalent of Cliff writing his book. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, I, I've been planning that like a book. In fact, we're still thinking of maybe producing a book alongside it at some point. Yeah. Anyway, aren't we, Dinah? Um, but we really, are, when I'd I like that, but yes, Dinah yeah, would like that. <laughs> but my, yeah. when I thought about it, I just thought, what is the best way of documenting and communicating? the material and, and a book just didn't seem to be the best way to do it. I no, think no, video no. and audio we, is the we best way. We were going to way. do a workbook, weren't we? An energy, we energy were. workbook. We were going to do an energy with, workbook. With modern technology, we're, why not use this? This is yes, better. Yes, absolutely. So, and, and it's, yeah, it when, resonates so well with you, Cliff. <laughs> yes. When you think back, when you think back to what the internet was like in 2001 when we did our first online seminar, I mean, there was no video, no Facebook, no YouTube nothing like that and now everyone is just so used to just being able to get a YouTube video or get an online course yep. or just get the information and have it right you know all the video and audio right there you know with them so it's that's exciting. what we're gonna do that's what we're gonna I'm, do I'm horrified I'm horrified to see that we've only got three minutes left and I'm just wondering if there are any people um, yeah are there any questions burning questions no that we haven't got time to answer <laughs> I never knew who was here. I couldn't see the attendees. No question. All right, Paniotta, that's a very sweet thing for Paniotta. Look, you put the whole thing together. Oh, that's great. Oh, you put the whole theory together. It seems exciting. I'm very touched. That's Paniotta. That's very nice feedback. Yeah. Yeah. So check it out. Like I say, you can just check out the trial. There's no pressure or anything. Just see what it's like and give us some feedback because it's very much an interactive thing. It's a project that we're doing together. And um, and thank you very very much for taking the time out to, um, to to join us because obviously this is the first one we're planning to create a whole series of them um, that will document all the work. I have no idea how long it's going to take. It's taken us a year to do one, so <laughs> I think yeah, that's a steep learning curve. That first yeah, year. Yeah, hopefully we'll be we'll get quicker because we're getting better at filming and editing and everything. Yeah, and so yeah, that's it. It's an ongoing project. Okay, Lovely. so there we are. I can't believe it. it's flown past. So there we are. That's an hour. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the exercises. It's great to be in touch with you. Thanks a lot for coming. And um, yeah, I'll see you. Just drop us a line if you need to. Uh, if you've got any questions, just yeah, email. you can just you just email us.